chronic Lyme is not just Borrelia burgdorferi sense of stricto, it's also other tick-borne diseases. Now, people have two definitions of Lyme disease. That adds to the confusion. Some people define Lyme disease in a very restrictive way. Other people define it in a broader way. The most restrictive definition is defined by the surveillance criteria, which is Borrelia burgdorferi sensu stricto based on the laboratory strain of B31 from Shelter Island and being able to replicate that with two-tier testing with the Dearborn criteria. That's the most restrictive definition. And that's what's used by the CDC for surveillance purposes. Broader definitions of different degrees recognize that there's different strains of Borrelia that may be causative and different ways of interpreting these indirect antibody testing. It, there's other reliance on culture or PCR testing rather than the highly controversial two-tier testing that journal articles have demonstrated to be 56% reliable, which is very poor reliability. They were never standardized for late-stage disease. They were standardized, and actually they've never been standardized. They were just replicated and never quite validated. So part of the debate is what do you rely on in identifying a patient with Lyme disease? Do they have it based on clinical criteria, or do they have it based instead on laboratory criteria or a combination of both?